Hey guys, Ajax22, just wanted to show you where I'm working on on the uh, Cockweasel. Um, my long term plan for this gun has always been to make a custom brass frame for it and to fit it with uh, Mauser Bolo C96 grips. Um, and I've had a couple of goes at making wax versions of the frame um, just because I think that the complex curves involved are going to be a little much for machining it on the equipment that I have available to me. So if I don't want to get stuck with a tremendous amount of handwork, uh, the easiest way is actually to make a wax version and then do like a lost wax casting and then mill the flat, the flats that need to be flat and uh, do some handwork on the curves, um, maybe with a belt sander, maybe with just some files. Um, anyway, so I borrowed this uh, C96 broom handle. This is actually a cone hammer Mauser uh, Boer War, War bring back uh, frame from a buddy. He has the rest of it. Um, it's kind of neat, kind of a neat gun. But I borrowed the frame to do some concept art. Did a, a sketching of both, and then fitted the. Um, basically, tried to get it so that the grip angle relative to the bore axis on the C96 was going to be duplicated on the larger Mauser. So it should um, it should be perfect or at least close enough to the actual bore axis that it, it'll be a uh, you know recoil similarly if you know significantly more so. Uh, probably also we'll be doing it thicker. Um, the C96 used a very thin frame in the grip area. Um, just, I mean, the 30, 30 Mauser cartridge on a big gun doesn't really put all that much stress on the metal, but this one might. So we'll probably wind up leaving it solid in between, um, and maybe doubling the thickness of the, uh, the center section between the grips. Um, so this is, this is probably what it's going to wind up looking like. Uh, as you can see, there's two, two types of wax here. Uh, I kind of screwed this up. Um, the one, the main stuff I've been using is beeswax, but I can't find my beeswax block. I think it might have gotten thrown out on accident. So, um, tried using some paraffin to fill in, you know, the beeswax, and uh, I didn't use real paraffin. I used the candles that I had lying around, and it just made a mess out of things. Um, I'm probably going to wind up having to scrap this piece and do it all again. Um, which is kind of a bummer, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, easiest way to do some sort of a, a rough casting like this is actually you tape the drawing down to a work surface and then you take some saran wrap and tape that on top of it. And then, you know, one piece at a time you mold it to the drawing that you have. So this piece will fit here. Let's just take it off. This piece will just fit right on like that. Um, obviously it's a little oversized, it'll have to be filed to fit. Um, I mean, need to make it a little more oversized here actually, and then build up the sides on the actual uh, receiver over here so that it does a little bit of a wrap around. Um, yeah. But then you just uh, build it up as needed, flip it over, and then duplicate the piece again. Um, I got to the point where I was duplicating the piece and tried to do it with the paraffin. It just, that stuff is so slippery. I don't think it actually, it might not even be real paraffin. It might be pa uh, paraffin and petroleum. It's one of, I was using those little votive candles and it just, it was just horrible. Um, yeah, made, made a mistake with that. Um, but have the drawing now. So, and I think this, this setup's going to work. Probably going to replace the, uh, standard Mosin trigger with a Timmy um, and then I might do that actually pretty soon so that I can design the uh, the grip around it. Um, I'm gonna cast a block here to replace to go to fill in this little segment and I don't know if I'm gonna do any sort of a nose cone piece or what and then cast this back part and then take plates and actually take the brass plate lay it across um, Essentially, this is a short piece from the other project, but lay it across like that, rivet it through to both sides, and then we'll have, um, you know, a nice brass frame pistol grip 
uh, Obras, so with with C96 grips and uh, a scope. It should come out pretty neat. Tremendous amount of work, though. Um, very steep learning curve. The whole the whole casting uh, thing. It's involved. But that said, once once we get the hang of it. Um, there's an awful lot of complex curves and shapes that then become available to us for some of the other projects, which is why I kind of dusted off the cock weasel and was going to do it. Um, you know, this is a very, this is a pretty straightforward shape, pretty straightforward machine work, um, and I'd, I'd kind of like to get this buttoned up so that it's not on my unfinished list of projects, which is rather long. Um, you know, anything I can complete and get to the hang on the wall for display segment um, is helpful. Anyway, that's where we're at. That's what we're up to. Um, gonna gonna finish up this wax piece, fit it to the gun, and then uh, pour it. Probably have to start this this one piece from scratch though. But it's you know. Better luck next time, and I'll, I'll know enough not to uh, not to mix paraffin and beeswax or, or votive petroleum-based whatever and beeswax. Just straight up beeswax next time. It's sticky. It's easy to work with. It holds its shape when you leave it for a while. It's just good stuff. All right. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much where we're at on this whole whole thing. Should be pretty straightforward to complete and uh, a lot of fun when it's done. Alright, have a good one guys.